Welcome to an episode of New Gameplay Today. My name is Brian Shea from Game Informer, and I am joined by Kyle Hilliard, who is currently on the sticks. Kyle, what are we playing right now? I don't know, some 3D Sonic game from 20 years ago? <laughs> Wait, aren't those games usually bad? Insert media narrative. Right, yeah. No, this is Sonic Frontiers, and we're playing on Xbox Series X. Yeah, so I reviewed this game. I, I played it on PS5. This is my first time seeing the Xbox version, so we're going to start off a little bit of gameplay from, uh, I think, what many people would consider probably the superior version, given the technology, which is either the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5 version, and then we are going to, later in the show, jump over and check out some gameplay of the Nintendo Switch version, because... If you're like me, when I saw this game announced for the Switch, I was like, is this really going to run on Switch? And I asked Takashi Azuka, the head of Sonic Team, that on the Rapid Fire, if you go on this that video on this very YouTube channel. And he said yes. So I was like, is it going to run? He said, yeah, but what are we doing right now? We are fighting Ashura, who is one of the guardians of the first island, Kronos Island. So guardians are like mini-bosses within the world. They are part of the core gameplay loop. You defeat them, and they will drop uh, portal gears, which will allow you to enter cyberspace levels, uh, which are kind of like the linear stages, more akin to the classic 3D Sonic levels. So, Kyle, oh, you, no, are, I... you are just starting your save file here. That's why we're watching your footage, because we don't want to spoil anything for the viewers. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the tutorials are still popping up here. Yeah, I'm still very early in the game. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Oh no, Kyle. I can't, I can't believe I died. But look, it's cool. It's good. It's um, it's so very good. <laughs> Shay, do you want to hear my my hot take about this game? I have not I've only played like an hour and a half or so. Yes, I I'm dying to hear your hot take. You ready for this? Yes. I kind of like it. Hey! I got to say, I I kind of like running around, you know, doing Sonic stuff. And having like little like kind of missions that you gotta do, right? Like it's just it's almost like little Sonic style puzzles you gotta solve, you know? I mean, there are, uh, that was basically my main takeaway when I went to Sonic Team earlier this year. I believe it was in May, and played it for our cover story, which came out in June. I was pretty positive on. I was like, you know what? There's some problems, and I hope they get them ironed out before launch. And you know, they didn't iron all of them out as you know, you can go on GameInformer.com and read my full review. It's not a, a like a, a perfect game by any stretch, but you know, it's an overall just really fun game. And I have a great time with like the core gameplay loop, engaging with these enemies, uh, oh. exploring the open zones as they call them. I remember my first time doing this battle, by the way. I had a challenging time. I did this back uh, during that cover story trip. And this was one of the ones I had the hardest time with was Ashura because like those red rings like that send you flying off to the side can be a little challenging yeah, they, to navigate. they don't hurt you they just like push you back and somehow you still manage to die <laughs> yeah right yeah well I get, get, kept getting hit so but it, I mean the basic structure like you're right like it, it's not this like I would it's not this like oh my gosh this is a revelation of a gameplay and you know a sonic experience but like I I liked the sort of structure of the game of like walking around this open area and just kind of finding stuff to do you know like it's you just kind of like this this little platform here is just like something I can climb I don't really have to engage with it a lot more than that if I don't want to uh, here's like a little pad over here I can see what's up with this I, I just kind of like the layout the structure and one thing that I think can't be understated and it's the, one of the first things I touch on in my review is it actually feels super good to navigate as Sonic in these open zones. Like, it it, I, it could very easily feel very bad. And we've had 3D Sonic games where it just doesn't feel good. Like, I mean, most notably Sonic 06, where it's like, you're going too fast in certain sequences where it just feels impossible to control. Yeah. And I feel like they never really have that problem with Sonic Frontiers. And that's just... I would say paramount to making this game enjoyable. By the way, uh, if you ever see a line of rings, this is something I don't think the game really tells you. Click the left stick in, and that'll do a light speed oh. dash. So, like, if you ever see like, just a line of rings when you're doing like those platforming sequences, just click the left stick, and he'll he'll run along them automatically. You don't want right, to climb like that tower you just went past. Works? Yeah, hit hit. And that works for like if rings are suspended in midair as well. Like right there. Well, I guess you got shot through the rainbow ring anyway, yeah. so. 
Did you see that uh, tower behind you, though? Uh, let's see. Where are we looking? Which way? Uh, right? Yeah, that, right, that right. Yeah, straight ahead. Have you gone up that yet? I don't think so. So go oh, over there. I, yeah. I did it on my own time, but let's... Oh, let's, okay. Uh, let's take it. Oh, I love this left click thing. I think maybe there was a tutorial, to be fair, but I just, like, breezed past it or, like, didn't really consider it as much as I should have. <laughs> you know? So the core gameplay loop here, Kyle, is, you know, you go around, you explore those guardians, like Ashura. There's several of those in every island. And they drop the portal gears that allow you to enter cyberspace, which are the linear stages. Once you're in cyberspace, you have four objectives that you can complete. One is beating the level. One is... Oh, so here's... This means that you just maxed out your ring capacity, which means when you boost, you go a lot faster. I go fast now. Sonic, um, you need, up to this point, I've been going very slow. <laughs> so once you're in cyberspace, you have four missions that you can complete, right? You beat the stage. You beat the stage with an S rank time. You uh, finish with a certain number of rings, and you collect all five of the go of the gold coins, or uh, red coins. I'm sorry. And uh, each one of those missions that you complete grants you a Chaos Emerald Vault key. Oh, collect those purple coins. Oh, did I miss them? Yeah, oh, over there on the rock. So those purple coins will allow you to go fishing, which... Like Big the Cat? Yes. In Sonic Adventure? Believe it or not. The best part of Sonic Adventure? <laughs> so he... Uh, or, so as you complete those, you get the Chaos Emerald Vault Keys, and that's the main progression mechanic. So the better you do in those linear cyberspace stages... Okay, so look, this is telling you to get to the top of that tower. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I did this on my... I, I, do, I do remember doing this now. And so yeah, you want to that's the core gameplay loop of the main progression. Okay, yeah. So you can hit that and like try to do like the standard platforming or you can run up that green wall. Right, yeah. So here so we go. Just hold down I boost. Know how yeah. To go up the walls, man. Jeez. I got to make it. I, I have found that a lot of these timers are very lenient. No, oh, they're generous. That's nice. It's very that, Breath of the Wild esque, the best right? That's ever been done. I don't think anyone's going to be able to beat that. So every time you complete one of these puzzles, see that red emblem right there is another one of those that will open up another area. So it kind of often will breadcrumb you into like, all right, well, if you want to open the next part of the map, you can go to this red marker. And it, it's very clever the way it kind of doles that out. Because then when you highlight that on the map, if you opened the map, you could highlight it and see that it'll tell you exactly what area it will unlock next. So, like, go over to that, that red marker. Was, was it this one right here? Yeah. Come on, Kyle. Okay. Yeah, see? So, it'll say, like, all right, it'll open that. And a lot of times it will give you the next one. And you can place a waypoint on it as you uh, appear to have. I did. But yeah, I mean the basics. Like, we'll see how far I make it. You know, in the in the total final, you know, if I if I play more and beat the game. But just on the on a basic level, I like the uh, just the the layout. You know, just the structure of the game. Yeah, and like yeah. my problems are typically like, you know, some of the boss battles are a little frustrating. They're meant to they they just kind of projectile spam you, which can be frustrating. And they also, uh, like, some of the open zone areas are just not really player-friendly in their design. Like, it, it's it's easy to get lost in some of them. Or, like, you'll see, like, all right, I need to get over here. And there's just no logical way that you can get to it. Like, And then some of the pop-in is really bad. Um, I'm oh, not yeah. seeing so much pop-in, I guess, a little bit. with. Let's see, right here right on the left. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's but yeah, that that is it. It is pretty noticeable at times. Where are you playing? Just like platforms will just appear. You know. Are you which mode are you playing on graphics wise? Is, is, are you playing on frame rate or are you playing on performance? I can't tell because we are not sitting in the same room together right now. So there's. Yeah, let me see. I actually don't know. 4K mode and there's 60 FPS mode. I highly recommend you go into the graphics setting and switch it to 60 FPS mode. It is so much. Oh. Yeah, switch it over. Yeah, I told. I would have. I didn't know that. Uh, I I oh I, I always choose that mode like uh, anytime. Maybe it'll even kick me out here. I don't think it, it probably will. won't change the viewing experience. But uh, oh yeah, this already looks way better. It's so much smoother, end. right? Yeah. 
Again, like I don't yeah, think good it's tip there. Going to really work. Is that yeah. in your tips article that you published? It is. So if you go to GameInformer.com, you can search ten tips for getting started in Sonic Frontiers. But you're liking it overall. I do. I am so far. Yeah. Like I like. Like I said, just the basic approach. This new approach to Sonic. I think it's the right call. I think the things that annoy me about Sonic uh, are still here. You know. Um, but. I like I asked you a couple times is this the best 3D Sonic like pretty quickly out of the gate I would say this is the most fun I've had with 3D Sonic since maybe the first time I played Sonic Adventure well that's what I said like in my tweet and like everybody kind of got really excited and I was like look this like read my review my review is a 7.75 out of 10 it's not like this is like game of the year caliber however this is my favorite 3D Sonic game since Sonic Adventure 2 I would say maybe even I, I might even like it more, like when as I think about it more. I'm trying to like kind of not buy into the hype too much coming out of launch. Yeah, like give, give it some time, right? There's recency bias, of course. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. But like I, but there, there isn't anything like with Sonic Unleashed where like in the first you know 30 minutes I was like, ah, I think I'm good. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, I, I love Sonic Unleashed, and I know that's one of the more well liked Sonic games. But yeah. those uh, Werehog stages are not for me, and I know yeah. it has it has their defenders, but yeah, not for me. I, the daytime stages are top tier Sonic levels, but yeah, I, the, the Werehog stages never did it for me. I, I, if I want Sonic, I want it to be fast paced and frantic. Ooh, I like these puzzles. Speaking of fast paced and frantic, puzzles. Oh, up. Kyle. Uh, well, you get the idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do um, should we check out the Switch version? Yeah, I have not seen the Switch version, so I am very curious how this runs. Uh, unfortunately, the eShop was down all day yesterday, so I did not get a chance to play it yet. And uh, let's boot it up. So here we are on the Nintendo Switch. Kyle, I have to say, I'm seeing this as a stream and not as a, uh, like not, not watching this locally next to you, but I think this looks better than I expected the Switch version to look. Maybe it looks different up close and like watching it locally, but like it's not noticeably terrible is what I'm getting at here. I agree. I've been playing it for about 30 minutes. Um, it's obviously it's not as good as playing it on Xbox or PlayStation 5. We were just playing it on Xbox. Um, but like the big thing for me for Sonic and stuff is going to be like consistent frame rate, you know? Mm -hmm. And that even though it's it seems like it's uh, 30, um, it, it's it's sticking to 30. You know what I mean? So it's right. not you're not seeing any dips or anything in your 30 minutes that you've played of this version so far. Not yet, no. Right, obviously, like things could get different and it could it could be rough, but like I will say, like on a base level, I was I I it's so far it's fine. Like I don't want to be too like you know um, optimistic. I guess you could say you know I've only been playing for a little bit. I don't want to be like oh this these first uh, thirty minutes have uh, been great. So the the whole game must be great on Switch. But like positive at, at the start at least. You know. <laughs> so let's let's get this. Uh, there's another yeah. Let's beat this tower and then go back into cyberspace so we can see how all this runs because this will be I think a crucial part of it is seeing how these like kind of guardian battles play out with the performance, and then also how the high-speed linear stages play out. Right. By the way, my uh, wife was watching me play a little bit last night, and she was she made she made a point that I was like, oh my gosh, you're so right. It is mind-boggling that this thing is called a Guardian, like like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> like, I didn't even think put they that would have tried to come up with a different name. Like, I will say so that many, like. Guardian, uh, there's so many Breath of the Wild little things in this game. It is nice that like Breath of the Wild came out and inspired just an entire genre of games now. <laughs> like, you know, we have uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, we have Sonic Frontiers, and I would say most notably Elden Ring all take a lot of cues from Breath of the Wild. And all of those are good games to great games. Yeah. So, uh, I am... Some of the best games in years. I really, really like all of those games although Elden Ring I will admit is not for me and I know that people get upset when I say that but people have different tastes but there's even things like this Brian where you're like collecting seeds to upgrade uh, your 
speed and health and stuff and like delivering them to a character that looks a lot like a giant seed. <laughs> yes. The Cocos. <laughs> like, okay, guys. Return. Let's see how yeah, this so these, looks. Yeah, so this is what we're about to do. This is a closer to like traditional Sonic. And it will, it will be nice to see what this looks like on Switch. I'm just going to skip all the hullabaloo. Oh, I did that almost every single time. Oh, how much of this am I going to have to do? None of this, it. This is the tutorials. Yeah, okay. As soon as it pops up, you can exit training. It That's okay. just a yeah, loading screen nice. activity that you can do, but you don't have to. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take That's nice. It's better than staring at a black screen. Yes. I think that's where it told me about that feature of, uh, you know, um, where you can click the thumbstick to... Uh, Hit the ring, the lines of rings oh, yeah. and stuff. By the way, the music in this game absolutely slaps. I like it. it. Even I made a joke about it on Twitter that it's like the overworld music almost sounds like Resident Evil save room piano music. Oh, wow. Which is like a hell of a choice, but it's like, I kind of like it. And then these, <laughs> weird. these stages all have amazing songs. And then wait till you get to the uh, Titan boss battles that are basically just like giant anime battles essentially like Kyle you like Dragon Ball Z love it you might like these uh -oh. oh you missed it I don't know I didn't know you could miss that so bravo <laughs> yes you learn something every day <laughs> see this oh there's a death star in the back oh well, death egg but yeah you know Excuse me. um but this is running fine it is you know? yeah it's not blowing again my mind or anything I'm not watching locally out. So like my frame rate frame rate is capped and like my resolution is capped on the stream itself, but it looks good from where I'm sitting. C for crazy amazing. Yeah. So as you could so you could have seen the the four goals I was talking about before. Those will all give you Chaos Emerald Vault keys. So here's where you can practice the parry timing, which I recommend you get down before you go to that first Titan. I didn't and even think there was timing. I thought you just held down the button. Okay. Okay, well, you're right. Parrying is not contingent on timing. <laughs> That's what it just said. I, it, the game is telling me to shut up, idiot. I just assumed it was like every other action game. Uh, why wouldn't you? That's how every game works, right? Yeah. Well, that would have made the boss battles a little bit easier for me, I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's... um. Wait, wait. Well, before we wrap up the Switch here, version, right? I just want a little bit of exploration just so I can see how the Switch version performs. Right, okay, I'll run across this bridge. Yeah, that should do it. Here we go. Whoosh. Can you upgrade that boost? Can you make it, like, uh, longer? So you can trade in, because, like, your boost is still going right now. It's just that initial yeah. burst is a little bit faster. Right. But I don't think you can upgrade the boost meter, but you can upgrade your speed. Right, okay, yeah. So you, if you return Lost Cocos, those little, like, stone guys that are just kind of sitting around, the smaller ones, uh, you can boot, you can upgrade either your ring capacity or your speed. Meanwhile, the little red hearts that you find around, not the pink hearts, the little red hearts, mm -hmm. those will upgrade your uh, strength, which I highly recommend, and then the uh, blue kind of spheres will upgrade your defense. So here's Brian. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but uh, now we're kind of seeing some of that, uh, that the legendary pop, in pop is where in. it looks like the Switch is uh, really kind of struggling. By the way, like you're Sonic playing on an OLED right now. Good. Sonic still feels pretty good, moves pretty well, but it seems like the pop in is a fair bit rougher on, on the Switch. You know, I, I have to say that, like, the open world, or open zone, whatever they want to call it, it does get you... Like, it has that checklist feeling where you're like, all right, well, here's a, a an icon on the map. I want to go take care of that icon. Mm -hmm. And that's how it led, it led me to finishing all the side character stories. Each island has its own side character story that you can complete. And it also led me to 100%ing all of like the map uncovering which is doing all those little like puzzles that you've been doing um oh, so i don't want to fight azura again. yeah you can run you can yeah you can just get out of there that's nice some of them they will trap you but Ashura, i don't think traps you i think you can or you can just do the opposite 
I gotta take care of this. If I can, in fact. By the way. Okay, never mind. There's also a Blood Moon like mechanic from Breath of the Wild. Is there, do they call it the Red Moon? No, it, I think it's called Starfall. And oh, okay. they, like, basically, and I, I highly recommend people do that because, uh, like, meteorites fall from the sky, and, like, you don't really have much choice because, like, a counter, a very intrusive counter appears. Oh, Kyle. 0 for 2 on those puzzles, and you got yourself trapped. Yeah, I'm starting to see a little more. It's it's struggling a little bit here now that we're in the larger area. Is it? How's the switch sounding in terms of like? Does it sound like a jet engine is about to take off? <laughs> no, it seems fine there. I'm playing on the OLED switch, uh, docked obviously. You're playing with a, a pro controller then, or are you playing with the Joy Cons? Uh, no, I just grabbed the Joy Cons for, okay. for the purpose of just recording this quick thing. But. Um, yeah, I, yeah, the Switch version, I don't know. It Short, like, really quick impressions here. Like, it's, Sonic plays pretty well. He feels pretty good, but, you know, the environment popping in is, is, pretty, is pretty rough. Yeah, it's so. egregious. I can see it as you're, like, running towards stuff that's off in the distance. Even shadows are popping in right there. Not Shadow the Hedgehog, but shadows uh, specifically <laughs> of to trees. Be clear. To, to be, be clear. Absolutely clear. Yes. You don't want to give people hope. But uh, I think that's a good look at both of the versions of Sonic Frontiers, both the kind of new gen version and then the Nintendo Switch version. Unfortunately, we did not check out the Xbox One, PS4, or PC version, but I would imagine that the Xbox One and PS4 version would be somewhere in between, and then the PC version will probably be dependent upon your hardware. But Kyle, anything else you want to say about this game before we sign off here? Uh, no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little more on Xbox. Um, I, like I said, I my my sort of immediate impressions are like I like this I like this layout of tasks for Sonic. I, I think it's I think it's a cool approach to Sonic, uh, being able to run around this open area. You know, um, so I'm I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. You know, and the best we'll news see of if all I make it to the end. But uh, so far so far I like I like it. Best news of all, it's the best game they released this week. Hmm. No. <laughs> so we will be back uh, with another episode of New Gameplay today very soon, probably talking about that other game that came out this week, God of War Ragnarok. So hopefully you enjoyed this look at Sonic Frontiers. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.